What's going on, everybody? It's your boy T Spilling. Welcome to Spilling All Tea. Y'all already know what it is. So, before I get into this, yes, we're going to be talking about Love and Hip Hop Hollywood uh, Season 2, the reunion part 2. But before I get into this, I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all with some church announcements. Okay. Church announcement number one. If y'all have not seen my motherfucking review to Real House Holes of Atlanta, you know, they came on last night. I believe it was episode five. Y'all need to get y'all ass on. Actually, I'm gonna leave a motherfucking <clears throat> eye card up here. When y'all done with the motherfucking video, click on the motherfucking link and shit. Take your ass on over there and watch the damn video. Especially if you watch that shit, you will get your life. Number one. Number two. Okay. Is, uh, <clears throat> if y'all not subscribed to my motherfucking fan page, you know, my Facebook fan page, y'all might want to go over there because, yeah, this review is coming out early. Yeah, that's because I got this shit early. You can tell you why I post that shit on my motherfucking fan site. You can tell you how you can get these motherfucking updates if your ass motherfucking like the page. It's too motherfucking easy. You feel what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, number three, uh, if y'all don't know this, y'all first time clicking on, on one of my videos, yeah, motherfucking team Monice over here. So I'm letting y'all know off the rip. Who the fuck side I'm on and shit. So just so you know before you come with the fuck shit. I just want you to know. Okay. And like I said on my real households of Atlanta video. Uh, I got my motherfucking opinion. I'm going to say if you don't like it. Go ahead and hit the motherfucking dislike. If you want to go down there and not crazy. By all means please do. I'm a king. I will not get off my throne and come down there with y'all. And uh, you know start acting the plum fool. I will not do that. Now the rest of the tea spillers. They might come for your ass. I'm not going to do it. Because I ain't got that motherfucking time. And if you truly don't like what the fuck I'm saying. I'm tell you what you can do. Two things. Either A. Click the fuck off the video. Or start your own motherfucking YouTube channel. And say what the fuck you got to say over there. Are we tracking? I hope we are. So what's going on everybody. This is the motherfucking review for uh, yeah. I love it, hippity hop, Hollywood season two, and uh, this is the reunion part two. Y'all know I got the shit early, right? So let's go ahead and start off with the climactic shit. So y'all know <clears throat> the fight and shit, you know, ensued. So uh, one thing I will say is I didn't like how the sh as the shit was building, <clears throat> Marla didn't move. You know, it was almost just like because my my thing is, you know, I. Felt, you know, since Marla had her opinion about everybody else and shit, I felt that she should have, you know, been trying to talk to motherfucking, um, uh, you know, uh, Needle Face and tell her ass, like, look, ho, you know, you need not talk shit about my daughter. Why the fuck you sitting next to me? I'm gonna have to ask you to bring that shit down a couple of motherfucking notches, please. Number one, <clears throat> and at the same exact time, I mean, look at this shit. I don't recall who the fuck stood up first, but as you see, Brandy was popping off, but Brandy wasn't fucking moving. Brandy didn't start getting more ammunition until people started chiming in, i.e., you know, Ed the motherfucking horse and motherfucking pincushion ass. She ain't say shit until then. You feel what I'm saying? And then I believe it was pincushion that got the fuck up first. And when she got the fuck up, that's when <clears throat> Brandy wanted to get the fuck up. And you saw as soon as, you know, motherfucking pincushion got the fuck up, Marla smooth slit the fucking front like, you, you, not today, bitch. Not today. You ain't finna fucking do it. <clears throat> and you can tell she ain't want none because she could have easily got through. And if she really wanted a piece of money, she could have got a piece of motherfucking Marla. Because Marla's whole thing is we gonna make this shit a fair motherfucking fight. You come for my daughter, I'm finna come for that ass. You feel what I'm saying? Now, <clears throat> I didn't like how they were about to sit here and double team her. You feel what I'm saying? Because on some real shit, I don't recall why the fuck. What that girl name is, um, <clears throat> you know, Hellraiser looking ass face. I don't know why the fuck she even stepping to. You feel what I'm saying? Motherfucker Modis. Now, Brandy, the only reason why Brandy stepping to it is because fucking damn, uh, you know, <clears throat> plastic ass, you know, had an issue. But you see, she and plastic, the motherfucker has that shit out. So, what the fuck you doing? You feel what I'm saying? This is shit that I don't fucking get. You know, Brandy trying to have another motherfucking moment and then. <clears throat> For motherfucking Shana, you know, want to sit here and talk about parenting and shit. My whole thing is, regardless of what the fuck Monice is doing, is it ain't doing with her motherfucking child. She not sliding up and down motherfucking poles, probably sliding up and down some motherfucking dicks. Every motherfucking pole that you motherfucking see, you know, would guys see have you out on, have your ass on the motherfucking chain and leash because you be quick to just jump on any random ass motherfucking pole that you could, like walking down the street, ooh, there's a pole, ooh, there's a pole, ooh, there's a pole. Sit your ass the fuck down and you really ain't have shit <clears throat> but fucking that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't say how respectful a mother that has motherfucking kids and got motherfucking heels in the motherfucking car, even though this shit's scripted, but heels in the motherfucking car. Bitch, your ass a motherfucking Superman ready to sit here and change it like that. Get the fuck out of here. The most she doing is selling motherfucking dicks. Okay. 
the most she doing to sell a motherfucking this to try to sit here and provide for herself and her motherfucking kid. You can't fucking talk. And Brandy, bitch. <clears throat> Brandy, bitch. You damn sure ain't got shit to say. <clears throat> Why you wanna see him talk about your kids, but you see him run up after this trout face motherfucking looking ass dude. <clears throat> Why you run after this Jabba Jaws looking ass motherfucking dude, but you wanna see him, you out here making yourself look crazy in front of your motherfucking neighbors, standing in front of cars and shit, popping up, you know, and motherfucking job and shit, hiding the motherfucking trunk and shit. <clears throat> So why are you so concerned about what this motherfucker is and ain't doing? You ain't doing shit fucking about your motherfucking kids. So I'm about to ask you to sit smooth the fuck down. And if y'all haven't noticed, if y'all missed the motherfucking church announcement, yes, yeah, the motherfucking team on these over here. Y'all need to get that shit straight right the fuck quick. <clears throat> and why everybody fucking trying? Because <clears throat> there's any people trying to advance on Moniz. Mo it's it, look how many people it took to secure Moniz. Now I'm gonna say this. <clears throat> Princess slid in like a motherfucking ninja on that motherfucking ass. But then, you, but here's the thing. But you trying to attack Moniz from the motherfucking side because you can't run up on that hoe. You can't run up on her face on because you already know she would have cold clocked your ass. Okay. Like I said, you might have Asian in your motherfucking blood, but she got crazy in her motherfucking blood. Don't fucking do it. And then y'all trying to triple team her and then motherfucking double, triple motherfucking stuff. You seeing your ass there all compressed and shit like you about to pop the fuck out your motherfucking, you know, dress and shit. And last that I checked, you have motherfucking lipo. Use a lipo motherfucking lie, but you gonna sit your motherfucking ass there, but you wanna sit here and talk talking about some they I was confused and they ganked up on her. You ain't no real motherfucking bitch because when one of they ass stood up, you should have stood up, posted like, come on, bitch. Let's go. That's what the fuck you should have did. You ain't no real motherfucking friend, Momo, Boo Boo. I hope you see the lack of friend you have there. Better yet, if you watch this shit back and you saw how the fuck that hoe laughed at motherfucking Hazel when she's talked about Jason Lee and shit, you should already know this is not your motherfucking friend. I'm about to sit here and get my motherfucking blood pressure talking about these hoes. Ooh. These hip hop hoes, y'all. I don't think y'all understand. I done already told y'all who motherfucking side I'm on. Y'all knew this from Jump Street. Shit. The fuck else I want to talk about. <clears throat> and then you got motherfucking, um, you know, Pitbull face want to sit here and call, you know, motherfucking uh, Monice the Wicked Witch. Look, bitch, the Wiz must just came on, but I'm going to say this. She's slaying as a motherfucking Wicked Witch. I don't know what the fuck you looking like. You know, trying to sit here and rip off Beyonce. What the fuck Beyonce did? I I ain't never really seen it for Beyonce either. But I mean, she she wears the shit a hell of a lot better than you did. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck as I want to talk about. Now, Rich went in the back <clears throat> trying to talk to Momo and get her some tough love. Pretty much just saying, you know, like I said, I, I I'm gonna give it to you like this because this is how it broke it down to it. <clears throat> you a queen. You get the fuck off your motherfucking chair. Mariah Huck, you don't get off your motherfucking throne to, you know, sit here and deal with the fucking peasants because they jealous of what the fuck you got because peep real game right quick. Who the fuck is on the main fucking, you know, intro for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood and what two hoes ain't? I just, I just want to know that. I would have to go back and watch because I'm pretty sure Princess ass ain't on that either. I'm just saying, because that's because Ray J got a bigger, you know, pussy than she do. I'm just saying. Okay, but that's all the fuck that I'm saying. But you don't fucking do that. Now, again, when one of them run the fuck up, you post the fuck up, ready to knock their ass out, but you don't dare entertain them. You feel what I'm saying? Especially that motherfucking chihuahua looking ass bitch. His thing, she ain't had not. What fucking scene she had that was fucking entertaining? You feel what I'm saying? Like, ain't shit entertained about this motherfucking hoe. Absolutely fucking nothing. And she invades everybody's fucking scene because she ain't got shit. Who the fuck give a fuck about her and Max? Nobody. <sighs> Calm the fuck down, y'all real now. Hold on. Now, Brandy gonna say Monice is weak. And she owes America an apology. No, bitch, you owe America an apology for that bullshit that's sitting on your head and that ugly ass shit you got wearing on your mother. You owe us a motherfucking apology if any motherfucking thing. You owe me an apology for wasting my motherfucking time having to sit here and talk about you and your motherfucking Sprint Wi-Fi bars motherfucking ass husband. Fuck else. Whew. 
And I'm going to talk one more time about this hoe. And hopefully, it's the last time I'm going to talk about motherfucking Brandy. But Brandy want to say, you know, because here's the thing. I don't know if y'all caught it, but she threw some shade at Monique's song about some, you know, I'm going to be a wife to my husband or some shit like that. I caught the motherfucking shade. I caught it because shit, I slick shade and read like a motherfucker. I caught the shit. And then you're going to say, you guys, child. My thing is this. Don't bring God into shit. Okay, I probably shouldn't have said God and that cuss were on the same dang on sentence, but it is what the hell it is. But don't call him into this foolishness. It's bad enough. Mona sitting here playing around with God, want to sit here and go up into, you know, the church of God with this damn fuck foolery. But, mm -mm, no, no. And then Princess want to say, you know, they want to ask the girls about the attack. You could tell Monique was fucking through because she was in the back. It was like all her personalities, like one person I didn't want to cry, the other one didn't want to cry. This one over here, flipping the fuck out. I know, because y'all know I got multiples and shit. But Moniz get back to the stage, Moniz ain't trying to talk about shit, because Moniz is trying to keep herself calm. Because I think if Moniz would have started talking about it, she would have charged after all three of their asses. And she probably would have split into three to attack all the I, I swear I would have saw her. I would have been here for it. I'm telling y'all, <clears throat> Mona, pay per view. Go ahead. To get their ass on pay-per-view. I'm telling you, you will get my coins for that shit. I'll pay for it. Real fucking talk. And then Ray on that bitch shit. Didn't fucking Rich tell your ass, Ray J, that we wasn't gonna condone bitch shit? And when fucking Nina is talking to motherfucking Princess, you like, <clears throat> you didn't see when she threw the drink on her? I'm, I'm fucking. Like I said, y'all know it's Hanukkah, right? Sit here eating on, you know, my potato kugel, you know, bites and shit. This shit is delicious. Got some cheese on it and shit. It is delicious. That ain't why the fuck we here. Y'all know I gotta plug food and shit. I, I, I love to eat and shit. But, <clears throat> let's talk about Jason Lee now. Now, hold on, hold on. My damn, my damn laptop slash TV acting up and shit. So, this motherfucker, this side, <clears throat> like, he's on there. <clears throat> And I think they're talking about the whole, <clears throat> well, not even think, they're talking about the whole he and Hayes thing. He was just like, well, because <clears throat> it was almost just like, uh, Nina came for him. It was real. She was like, so you a blogger, but it's almost like it hasn't been verified. That time she was like, well, I mean, here, you got people here that are artists, and they've been on this show for a couple seasons, but we still ain't heard no music. I was like, ooh, oh, oh, I had to clutch right there. I was like, oh, <clears throat> and Brandy all of a sudden got something to say, and it's just like, well, one, a hit dog will holler, but you been on here one fucking season. And again, hit this bitch go. Trying to steal the motherfucking scene and shit, but I digress. Now, <clears throat> Jason apologized to Hazel. <clears throat> Hazel don't want to hear it because she was like, <clears throat> not only did you say what you said, not only did you do what you do and said what you said, when the fucking episode aired, you were walking around with a bitch, take this or take that, whatever for, or take that bitch, whatever the fuck he said, had a shirt on trying to monopolize on it. Right, <clears throat> so I can understand why she ain't trying to set the motherfucking apology. Is at this point now. Here's the thing: <clears throat> if he was sincere, he could have just left it at this. Like, I understand how she feels. I apologize. That's it. But now he wants to defend himself, saying that when she was trying to shame me for being gay, out of somebody that uh wasn't even out yet, <clears throat> and I haven't even you know come out to my family. So now he's trying to use this platform that. You, Bro, we already tired of Miles and Milan. <clears throat> and, you know, she even said, why the fuck bring your fat ass on this show? You know, so... <clears throat> they asked Brandy, like, why are you all invested in shit? She was like, you know, I <clears throat> am a strong woman, and I believe in women. I done gave her enough motherfucking time. Moving the fuck on. <clears throat> and then Ray J sitting here trying to get Hazel to forgive. And he was like, well, didn't Jesus forgive? I ain't Jesus and neither are you. My whole thing is this. Ray J, again, stay out of bitch shit. We already got two bitches on stage arguing. Stay the fuck out of bitch. Oh, I forgot. He got a pussy too. Still, this ain't your motherfucking conversation. Okay, what? Well, are you mad because we just sat here and ran over your motherfucking story? Because don't nobody give a fuck that you and Princess are motherfucking getting married? Miss me with the bullshit. Okay. Now I'm trying to sit here eating shit. <clears throat> Why the fuck they gonna sit here and talk about Nas and niggas fight and show the throw up and shit? Had to turn the fuck away. I ain't trying to throw up my motherfucking food. Watch a bitch throw up. It ain't too late. <clears throat> so the fashion show. I ain't finna talk about 
All y'all need to know is he ever says to um, Hazel, I'm sorry, or I probably, whatever, I shouldn't have said that. I wish you would die, because if you know if you die, I die pretty much. I'm saving face. Because you damn sure ain't saving shit else. She ain't saving no motherfucking cake. She ain't saving no motherfucking meal. She ain't saving shit but face. Hardly saving that. What else? So now we got the uh, Le Cucaracha. This motherfucker had a motherfucking wardrobe change and shit. I don't know who the fuck he think he is. Bitch, you ain't Gaga. You can't sit here and have five wardrobe changes in one motherfucking performance. Sit the fuck down. And, you know, both, well, Nia, not Nia. Uh, Sylvester denies them having an open relationship. So then they asked Le Cucaracha. And, you know, Sylvester was like, no. Mm hmm. So then Nia said, uh, they hooked up like two months ago. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, of course, soldier, you know, got it. Fuck, I done caught his ass that whatever. Then got it, his motherfucking bag and shit. And, <clears throat> you know, when asked questions about, you know, they fuck this and the third, you know, because I think she said, nah, I said something along the lines of, like, if you don't break up with this one, then this one gonna be on the show or some shit like that. And then, you know, he get up, like, you know, get up, like, you know, get, you know, I get motherfucking money. <laughs> like, here's the thing T.I. already said, if it ain't about the money. You you can't do that, okay? That that's real rapping. I don't know what the. I mean, here's the thing: like you you fucking illiterate and shit. And you know you fucking do with thug. That's how. I mean, the motherfucker straight looked like he was stoned off his motherfucking ass and shit. I'm trying to figure out like did he and fucking um Sylvester did they sit him and take the same exact shit that two reunions ago Jocelyn and motherfucking Stevie took? Because next thing you know, Nas. Was like I beat your ass, and then Sylvester gets up and charges her. Now here's my whole thing, not Nas, bitch, bitch, bitch. When you saw this whole get up, why the fuck didn't you post the fuck up, man? Unless she had super lightning speed, you know, you should have saw that coming, bitch. You ain't Stephen One. I'm pretty sure your eyes still work it. Fuck up, bitch. Anyway, so then they, had, you know, they escort the two hoes off the stage and shit. And you know, uh, you know, like Cucaracha is asked, um, you know, about the whole 25 million, his net worth and shit. He was like, I'm on national TV. Why would I say something? Like, why would I allow national TV? Nigga, you done lied about a whole lot of shit on motherfucking national TV. The fuck? Fuck you, man. I'm gonna go ahead and touch. I will actually, I think they're coming back. Fuck, I gotta talk about the ass again. Hmm. Amber Miles of Friends. Tierra ushers in Milan, you know, because they had this shit planned, you know, that she was going to usher him in if they ain't really talk about the shit and got. Now, Milan apparently came with a motherfucking ring because he was going to propose to Miles until he saw how full of shit Miles was. Says the motherfucker was cheating. And then the motherfucker decides that he gonna drop the motherfucking uh, ring and walk the fuck away. <sighs> then uh, Miles will kick the ring. <clears throat> okay, here's the thing. Um, on some real shit, I'm to the point that one or two things gonna happen with love and hip hop. Actually, no, I can't even say one or two things. <clears throat> With love and hip hop Hollywood. If Moniz don't come back and uh, Milan does, I ain't watching. I'm, I'm letting y'all know right quick. If if one of those M's come back and the other M goes away and it's the wrong M, my ass ain't watching. One. And two, <clears throat> bruh, you thirsty for a motherfucking storyline. Nah, he ain't even thirsty. That motherfucker dehydrated. Do you do you want some of this water, nigga? Do you do you want some of this water? You need some water. Okay, you you need some motherfucking you you looking awfully like I said your ass is fucking you know this fucking Sierra Desert motherfucking uh, dehydrated up in this bitch. Who the fuck gonna drop their ring on stage? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And apparently they done now. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So, with the whole Miles and Milan thing, Miles went to the backstage. That boy was crying, but he wasn't really crying. He he tried he trying to get some motherfucking that time again. Let's not bring him back. I'm I'm tired of him. I'm so tired. <clears throat>
Nina asked Milan if he felt left out of Miles' uh, you know, story. Uh, yeah, you kind of fucking did. You know, I guess he thought he was going to be the breakout star. Uh, aha! Didn't work out that way. <clears throat> now we got Willie and Shonda. Now Nina go ask Ray J how he would feel if um Princess did the same exact thing, right? Ray J, the biggest bitch on the motherfucking show, instead of asking the question, mm, wanted to sit here and try to flip it, you know, and pretty much throw it back on them and try to get them, you know, some pastoral uh advice. I just made that word up. <clears throat> you know, trying to get him a word and shit. And here's the thing, I'ma call Nina on her fuck shit. But what the fuck she should have said is that was nice. You can get him a word from the Lord, but that ain't what I asked you. That's what she should have did. See, she ain't no great host. Fuck y'all. And Willie said his album will be our first quarter next year. Bruh, if they ain't already, you know, put your shit on hold, you really think they just gonna release your shit. You ain't that big of a motherfucking star for them just sitting and just drop your motherfucking album on time see you fucked up. <clears throat> Shonda says she put her heels up, but you would never know. And then the fucking show ends. I'm not finna say where everybody final words was, but Amber got a new boo, but she ain't say what the sex of that person is. Who the fuck cares? I was waiting for her to say, I'm actually a man. That would have been a good closer to the motherfucking season, but the fuck ever. Rich Plugs love a hip-hop New York. Talking about some, you can catch me on that next week. Mm hmm. But she was here for Moniz, though. He, he was just here for that cootie cat. Moniz, they asked her for final words. You see the crazy owl on her face. She ain't got shit to say. Because <clears throat> she's sitting here plotting about how the fuck she gonna fuck every last one of their asses up. The only way I want to bring, to bring, the only way I want for them to bring Brandy back, there we go, is if uh, her Moniz go at it. That's, that's all I want to see. And then they end with a sampling uh, Milan song when I go. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm glad it was a sample. That shit was a snip. That it wasn't even a snippet. That that, that was just. You know how <clears throat> you go to a store and you can sit here and taste the food and shit, and you taste it and the shit nasty. You spit the shit back. And that's what the fuck he gave us. You know what I'm saying? At least let it let us hear Willie shit. Some shit that I might actually spend a couple motherfucking dollars, coins or some shit on. <clears throat> But not this shit. That's all I got for you guys. This right here was the I uh, Love Hip Hop uh, Hollywood season uh, fin well, not even season finale, y'all. Uh, reunion part two. Y'all saw I got crunk in the beginning. I really ain't that motherfucking sorry. Um, and it is what it is. So, um, I might be back tonight for Black Ink Crew. I don't know. <clears throat> I might be periscoping after this. I don't know. But please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. If you got guys comment down below, be respectful. That's all I'm gonna say. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, uh, if you haven't liked the Facebook fan page, do it because y'all know when new shit come out. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Don't stop December.